Show me how you bounce, bounce! Yay! Good job! Good job bouncing! Yeah, that's a good girl! Is that fun? <laughs> that's right, I still have a Christmas pillow out. My couch is like super disheveled because I am washing some cushions because our foster dog has not learned that he's not allowed on the couch yet and the cats are also making it dirty so sorry it's uh you should see behind you I mean I have like underwear that I need to fold there's there's a lot going on but I chose to film today and put makeup on instead of clean my house aren't you proud and if you hear anything going on in the background that's these in the dryer so bear with me if you're watching this today, you probably are a mom already, or maybe you're a new mom and you're like, what do I need? What did I not get? Um, or you're expecting. So no matter where you fall in those categories, you don't have a lot of time. Um, so I'm going to try and make this as short as sweet and sweet as possible. I also have to pick up my daughter in less than an hour. So wish me luck. Okay. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over, um, I've been meaning to put this out for a really long time, so my apologies that it's taken so long, but this past year has just been, there's just been so much jammed into it, um, and I have not had a whole lot of time for videos and work, um, and that is all about to change, and I'll tell you why soon, but I'm about to have a lot more time to work and do other things. Um, so I kind of collected a list of things that I purchased myself or got from um, our baby shower and just like kind of put together a little cheat sheet for you guys about what I didn't like and what I did like, what I thought was useless. So hopefully it saves you a little bit of coin. Um, I will also say though that everyone is, everyone's journey with motherhood is a little bit different. So maybe you're going to love something that I don't like. So don't take my word as like the holy grail by any means, but I'm just hoping that it helps guide you, um, and gives you some helpful points to go off of. Our foster's nails are very long, so they're like click clacking around. <laughs> it sounds like there's a little reindeer in here. So, um, that's, that's just rocket. I'm going to be reading off of my phone because that's where everything is. First on my, so how we're going to do this is I'm going to talk about everything that I love and then I'm going to talk about everything that I don't love. And I'll tell you why. And of course, maybe you won't agree with me, but I'd love to hear your comments below if you have the same experience with something, if I'm using it wrong, which is very possible. Um, but before we move on, let me, aren't these cute? I got these for Christmas. They're from Amazon. I did also want to call out my Star Wars sweater. This is Smash Tess. Um, they did a collaboration with Star Wars and this is not sponsored, but they did send me this and it is like super cozy. So first on my love list is the Ollie Swaddle. This has a higher price point. It is $65. However, you can purchase them used on Mercari or one of the websites like that. That's actually where I've purchased quite a few. Um, some people say that their child doesn't like or their baby doesn't like being swaddled and I honestly feel like maybe you just haven't found the swaddle that your baby is going to like love and thrive in because I have tried every swaddle known to man and I have my favorites and now I know exactly why so I'm going to share that with you so that you can save a little bit of money because I have spent an astronomical amount of money on different swaddles because we had a very colicky baby. So the reason why I love the Ollie Swaddle is because it is Velcro and some people have a little bit of an issue with that because at night when they're doing diaper changes, they don't want to wake the baby up. I never found that to be an issue for Harlow, but every baby is different. So keep that in mind. But I loved that it grows with the baby in the sense that you can swaddle their arms in and Velcro it over their arms because it goes right here or you can leave their arms out when they start to roll around. And the other thing that I really like about it is that you can tie up the bottom so that you can tie it up even higher so that their little knees are bent a little bit, which will help relieve some of the colic and gas that they're experiencing. So that was really great for nap time. Um, the other swaddle that I wanted to talk to you about is I pulled it out of the dirty clothes. Um, I need to wash this. It's called Crane Baby. And the reason we've been using this lately and not the, the Ollie because this is more of a... Um, a uh, like a quilt type material and um, 
I love that it snaps over the shoulders and it zips all the way down. They have the really cute patterns and this is gonna work for quite a while, even when your baby's starting to walk. I've seen people use this so that their baby can't like get out of the crib. But the snapping on the shoulders is super key. When I'm putting Harla to bed, I can put her down on top of this, hand her her bottle so she stops crying. And then as she's drinking her bottle, I can easily snap this. Um, and I don't have to fuss with her arms and like getting their, her arms like in and out of there. I don't know what's up with the cat, but the cat has gone in and out of the cat door like a hundred times in the past 10 minutes. So one of the things that I really like is a side to side rocker. Now we purchased a used Fisher price one off of Facebook marketplace. I don't, if I can find it online, I will link it for you guys, but um, Harlow did not like rolling forwards and um, she also hated the Mamaru. That's on my dislike list. I'll tell you a couple reasons why and I, how I ended up with so many of them. But um, she really liked the side to side that worked really well for her for putting her to sleep. Um, the, the forwards and backs didn't, the forward and back swings didn't do anything for her, but maybe that's just kind of an anomaly. I don't know. This next item is going to come in so handy if you do bottles and formula, which I have done with Harlow since like two and a half months or three months. I still need to make a breastfeeding video. All of that information and experience is still relevant, but um, the baby Brezza. Now, some people have qualms with this because they say that the the formula, it doesn't put the right amount of ratio of formula to water. There are settings that you have to set up. So whatever formula you're using, you have to input it into the app and there can be a little bit of a setup time there. And this is a higher priced item. It's I think around 275 or 300. But let me tell you, if that was one of the only things that I could have. And if I had to pick like a top five, that would definitely be it. It has saved my ass in the middle of the night. You can make a bottle from your bed. So if your baby is crying, you need to get them a bottle in the middle of the night. You can press a button. And by the time you get your ass to the kitchen, your bottle is ready and you can pick how warm you want the water. You can pick how many ounces you want and it just makes it. So I will say that you do have to clean it out a lot. Like if you just keep adding powder, it's going to get all caked up in there. You have to clean it out every single time it's out of powder and you have to clean the little like piece that goes in and dispenses it into the bottle quite often. Um, and you have to fill up the water reservoir quite often. Um, but other than that, it is just such a lifesaver. I even bought a used one on Mercari and had it shipped to my house in Nashville because when we were there for the month of November, I was like, I don't think I can do like my day to day hand making bottles because formula is super sticky. If you've dealt with formula before, you know the pain that formula is. It is so sticky. It, it gets everywhere. Somehow, even though you're being so careful, you spill it all over the place. Just do yourself a favor, buy a baby Brezza, put it on your um, registry, splurge if you can, buy it used, whatever you gotta do, it is a godsend. I got a bottle warmer and I'll put the one below that I have. I have it packed away right now. So I was doing this bottle warmer when I was breastfeeding and I would put breast milk into the bottles and just when you know your baby, like once you're on a little bit of a schedule and you're, you know they're gonna be hungry soon, it's really nice to pull your breast milk out of the fridge, stick it on the bottle warmer, put the degree that you want it to be at and make sure it's just warm and ready to go because the first two to three months with Harlow, were really hard and she was just pretty much screaming and crying all the time. So anything I could do to get her to be calm and happy, as happy as she could be, was was worth jumping and leaping over fences for. So I would try and anticipate her needs and make sure the bottle was warm every time I knew she was gonna be hungry. So I could just grab it as soon as she started fussing, give it to her, and she was a happy little camper. So we'll just say if there's something that I like, a specific product and one that I don't, and they're kind of the same thing, I'll just mention the other one too. So next is the Upseat. So I recently received the Upseat from Upseat. Thank you guys so much for sending that to me. I love the Upseat. I love that you can attach a tray to it. I don't know if you can do that with a Bumbo, but the Upseat has way bigger space for your child's legs. If you have a little Michelin baby like I do, they have rolls for days and the 
Uh, Bumbo, she does not fit in it well. It was really hard to get her out of. Like when I pick her up, the whole seat would just come with her because her thighs are so thick and juicy and awesome. <laughs> and so I just want to bite them. So that, that, the Bumbo seat did not work for me. I got rid of it immediately. I also did read that it's not good for the baby's spine and posture. And I tend to not like follow a lot of that because I turned out fine and I mean, I just, there's all, everyone has a problem with something and it, I mean, is your baby really going to be sitting in that seat enough during the day to like make a huge difference? I don't know. But anyways, just thought I would mention it. So up seat, awesome. Bumbo, not so much. The hatch. The hatch is a little device that lights up in with different colors. There's an app for it on your phone and you can kind of control it that way. Um, and uh yeah so that has been super useful you can even schedule like start a schedule with it so the sound it also like has like water sounds or white noise or whatever you're looking for and so ours we even have one in our room because nick loves it so much it goes on at 9 p.m at night and it goes off at 9 a.m in the morning and you can set whatever color you want you can do no no color um light but it's really nice for if you're going into breastfeed change your baby whatever, so you're not stepping on like Legos and toys and like almost killing yourself getting to your child in the crib. So that's been um, a game changer. And then also portable sound machines have been just great. Um, it's really great for just like drowning out all the outside noise, helping keep your baby asleep and calm. We use those like crazy on our trip to Germany when Harla was only two months old. The hatch is also a higher priced item. So I'm sure there are I'll see if there's any, I'll do a little bit of research and see if there's any cheaper versions and I will put them in the description box below if I can find them. Next is one of, this is, this is on par with my baby Brezza, but it might even be higher than the baby Brezza if that's even possible. This is a higher priced item. So if you, if you, if you can splurge, wonderful. If not, there are plenty of resale um, stores everywhere that you can check on. Check out Once Upon a, Once Upon a Child. I think that's the one there's one on Oceanside there's one in Nashville you can buy this used online and anyways it is the baby Bjorn bouncer when I first got this I was just like I don't understand like what the point of this is but if you have a child that has to be able to see everything or loves to see everything and wants to be included this thing is awesome we traveled with to Germany with it we had it in front of us on the floor like on the plane Harlow very quickly learned how to bounce herself. There are three little seating levels so they can be like reclined more or less, however you want to do it. Um, she still uses it to this day. She's seven months old. She's not quite using it as much because she was starting to like bottom that thing out. She would just get going like crazy. If you watch my Instagram stories, you've seen her on that before going crazy. It is, that is like hands down, you need a baby Bjorn and nothing else out there compares to it that I am aware of. And a dislike of mine is the inge Ingenuity Smart Bounce. Um, I wanted to get something that would bounce Harlow before she was able to bounce herself in the baby Bjorn, but she learned that super quickly and I got the, the Ingen Ingenuity Smart Bounce and um, it barely like bounced. It was just like so pointless. Let's talk about changing. So I heard about the Kikaru, which is like a kind of a rubbery changing thing. It's kind of shaped like a peanut. This is like, has been so awesome. I've seen so many changing pads that are like, have a cover and it's fabric. I have gotten poop and pee on that um, freaking thing, the Kikaru, so many times. I can't even count on like all my fingers and toes. And the cleanup is so easy. You just keep disinfecting wipes and you wipe it down and it's done. Sometimes I'll put a towel on the side where like the, the side where um, Harlow's back's going to be, if it's going to be a little chilly on her back and she's not got any clothes on. But this is by far my favorite. I have looked, I have not found a dupe that's any less expensive. So I wouldn't say it's cheap, but it's not super expensive. I think it's like around $80, but it is super great. Um, I would not go with anything, any sort of changing table with fabric, I would steer clear from. 
Next, this is something for your car that I would definitely put on your registry or purchase for yourself. It is a car mirror. There is nothing more annoying than being in the car by yourself, with, well, with your baby, um, but not another adult to help you is what I mean. And not being able to just look in your rear view mirror and see what your baby's doing. It's really nice to know if they got a little bit of sleep on the ride, why they're fussing, if they're okay. Um, so I uh, didn't really know how important these was and I bought one like pretty immediately after and I really wish that I put it on my registry. Dude, our ice machine is so loud right now. Like it is so loud over there. So the next two things I'm going to talk about are two things that you just need to go buy and have on hand so that if you need them, you, you have it. And you, if, if there's a problem, you have the solution. Like it's not something you want to, um, you want to be proactive with this. You don't want to be reactive. So Tubby Todd ointment is one of my favorite ointments. I've used it for almost everything for Harlow down there, whether her little butt is red, whether it looks like a little rash is going on. Um, I've used this for her and it has all good ingredients in it. There's another one called like butt paste that has like zinc oxide and your skin can't breathe through zinc oxide. I've seen other influencers talk about it. Changing pads, um, portable ones for the different cars. Make sure you have a little basket for yourself with extra bottles, extra diapers, an extra outfit and put a changing pad in there that folds out because you would be surprised at how many bathrooms and different things like that. Also make sure there's one in your diaper bag you would be surprised how many bathrooms don't have anywhere for you to change your child. I swear in Germany, if I had did not have a changing pad with me, I would have been screwed because not one bathroom, not even one bathroom I went to in Germany had a changing pad for me to change my, my baby. I was on the floor in the stall changing Harlow's diaper. Yeah, it was gross. This one's going to be a controversial one because a lot of you have said how much you love this, but the Haka that sits on your boob, the one that looks like a little grenade and has the thing, um, that did not work for me. Every time I breastfed Harlow, she would just kick it. There, She was such a large baby and is a large baby that there was no room for that when I was breastfeeding. Someone said to turn it to the side. But honestly, I just decided that I would prefer something a little more low profile. And so I found the LV Milk Catcher Collection Shells. These are rounded, so you can actually wear them throughout the day because sometimes right when you get out of the shower, your boobs are already dripping milk and you're like, oh my gosh, I feel dirty all over again. Um, so these are rounded and you can just wear them in your bra and you almost can't even tell depending on what you're wearing that you have them in. So you can put one on the one side. I will say that if you drip a lot of milk while your baby is nursing, you might need something a little more substantial like the Hakka Ladybug um, has a little bit more room in it, but it's not something you can wear underneath your clothing and wear it out in public. Although I have a couple times, <laughs> no shame. Uh, so those just worked for me a lot better um, and I would sleep with them as well. So this is gonna be a controversial one as well because so many people told me to go get the My Breast Friend feeding pillow, nursing pillow. I hated that pillow. I hated it and I still hate it and I will never use it again. Well, I should never say never. I'm always changing and evolving and figuring out new ways to use things, so who knows? But the Butter.co pillow, um, I have it right here actually, because I still use it even though I don't breastfeed right now. This is it right here. It is super soft, super cushy. I currently use this for Harlow to sit. Um, it's like a little, I have her sit right here with her back and her bum and her legs out this way so that she doesn't fall backwards as easily. And if she does, she can kind of practice picking herself back up and using her core. But this wraps around you like so. It's super cushy, it's it's so nice. The My Breast Friend, you have to like strap around you and clip it, and it's very hard. Um, I, I like that you can just kind of prop this one up. The I would say that the My Breast Friend is like really just rigid foam, and it's just not easy to pull off and clean either, whereas this has one easy zipper right here. Now this was gifted to me, so I don't actually know how much these go for, but I would say that no matter what the price tag within reason, I would 100, like 10 out of 10 times choose this breastfeeding pillow over the My Breast Friend, not only because you can use it for breastfeeding, but you can use it beyond breastfeeding like I just showed you. So I don't have a specific one that I think is necessary, but any sort of a play mat 
with uh, the little thing that goes over top that I can't think of the name of. It has little danglies that they play with. You can like put pictures up there. The Love, Love Every has one. Um, Wild Bird has this one right here for the mat. And then you have to get the other piece. But this has been a lifesaver. I take this over to my grandma's house when we take Harlow over there and I just lay it down so she has something to lay on. Not only so that she's clean, but she spits up a ton. So you don't want your baby spitting up on people's carpet. Maybe you do, I don't know whose house you're at, but um, that has been great. I was taking it over when she was being watched every week by the babysitter. It's just, it's it, these are actually pretty pricey too. I try to find dupes and stuff. This is a wild bird one, but they really just, they're kind of expensive. So if you have someone that like quilts, they might be able to make you something. But this is just really nice to travel with too because you, a blanket kind of like can get scrunched up really easy where this just kind of maintains its shape very well and your baby can roll around and play and you know they're not going to be on a dirty ground because um, our rug we have lots of animal hair on it so that's all over her and then she doesn't spit up on the carpet with this so highly recommend something like this and then some sort of a jungle gym type of thing that goes over it so they can kick and play with that it'll keep them busy for quite a long time when Harlow was really young, she would sit there for like 20 minutes and play with the different things and look at the pictures and the like sensory um, pictures that I'd tape up there while I did the dishes or whatever. There's like a hair in my mouth. I think I swallowed like a cat hair. So let's talk about some bedroom sleeping. A rolling bassinet was super awesome. I, the one I have, um, I like, but, and, I, and I'll use it again, I'm gonna keep it. I think, but I would recommend getting one that has more storage on the outside and right underneath. Um, but other than that, like rolling is super key. It's like, I had this idea in my head that when I had Harlow being a new, new mom, like I, well, not even a, well, you're a mom when you're pregnant, but like before I had her, I had this idea in my head that I was like going to roll her around the house. Well, she just slept like a baby while I did the dishes. Well, that never happened. But I do love the idea of it rolling because when we started to sleep train Harlow before we had her crib set up, I was able to roll her into another room for nap time, especially while we've been doing construction in here and stuff and the remodel, it's been really nice to be able to just move her to different locations and have her be able to sleep kind of wherever we rolled her. So I highly recommend a rolling bassinet. Don't be fooled by those cute little ones you see on Pinterest. You need one that's like, that makes sense. So kind of just think about the things that you're going to need in the middle of the night. You're going to need burp cloths. You're going to need nipple, nipple ointment. You're going to need nipple shields, possibly, um, extra bottles, different things like that. Bibs, who knows? So you just want to make sure that you have a lot of storage in that so that while you're rolling it around, like everything that you need is kind of like right there. A couple of things for your diaper bag. I, somebody did ask me to do um, a diaper bag like tour and like what's in my diaper bag. So I'd love to do that and I'll go into everything more in depth, but make sure you have some disinfecting wipes in there. Um, I am not a, a clean freak or, or I shouldn't say I'm a little bit of a clean freak. I'm not a germ freak. Like if we drop something on the ground, um, like at our house or something or like in our backyard, I just give it back to Harlow and she can put it right in her mouth. I don't care. Um, germs are good to a certain extent, but disinfecting wipes are really good for just when you're somewhere not so clean, you know, or you need to wipe their hands because they touched um, a reptile or something like that. So really great for just quick disinfecting that you need to do. Also, this is a little hack, but grab and put on your diaper bag a doggy bag dispenser. They're like always at like home goods for really cheap. You get a bunch of bags. There's even like biodegradable ones there and just have it hang off the side of your diaper bag or put it inside whatever, whatever floats your boat. But I can't tell you how many times it's been so necessary to put a dirty diaper or a dirty outfit that she soiled or a spit up rag or an extra old bottle that she used like in a bag. So the scent cannot get out of it. And so it, the moisture stays within very, very, very key. Um, I, I pretty much have doggy bags on all my diaper bags. I think I have like three right now that I, that I cycle out and use and I have one in the stroller. So super easy, cheap thing to have, but super necessary. 
I first was using Ziploc bags and that was just way too expensive. Like Ziploc bags are expensive and doggy bags are not. So doggy bags win. This is something that you can use while you are pregnant, while you are in labor and after. I had no idea how useful this item was going to be after I had Harlow. It is an exercise ball. You need one. This is up there with the baby Brezza, the baby Bjorn. You need an exercise ball. You also need a peanut ball for um, labor, but a lot of hospitals have that. And sometimes they have exercise balls too. But even if your hospital has an exercise ball, get one for your own house. You can deflate it and easily store it when you don't use it. But we still use it to this day. Harlow is seven months old. We use it for bouncing her. So if you have a colicky baby or you're just trying to put your baby to sleep or you're you know, kind of winding down at the end of the night and relaxing in your living room, you can turn down the lights, sit on your ball and just bounce. And it makes it so easy to bounce because when you have had a C-section or just after birth in general, or just you're just tired from not getting a whole lot of sleep, it is so nice to just sit on that ball and let the ball do most of the bouncing and the work for you while you just hold your baby and just bounce. You can also go side to side on it. It's great, I highly recommend it. Now for the rest of the dislikes. <sighs> the Docatot. High priced item, wanted to love it. I ended up using the Baby Bjorn instead of the Docatot because people would tell me, oh, like you can have it on the couch with you or the ground and your baby's just like hanging out with you or whatever. But my child, wasn't okay laying down and not being able to see everything. She had to see everything all the time, even when she was four days old. So the dog -a -tot really didn't work for us. She also wouldn't nap in it. We also had a very fussy baby. So that's just very personal to me. And most of these things on here are very personal to me. Some of these things on here are just downright fucking stupid and no one should buy them. But with this one, I'm gonna give it like a little bit of a pass because it just didn't work for me for Harlow. Not to say it won't work for you. Now for the rest of the dislikes. <sighs> the Docatot. High priced item, wanted to love it. I ended up using the Baby Bjorn instead of the Docatot because people would tell me, oh, like you can have it on the couch with you or the ground and your baby's just like hanging out with you or whatever. But my child, wasn't okay laying down and not being able to see everything. She had to see everything all the time, even when she was four days old. So the dog -a -tot really didn't work for us. She also wouldn't nap in it. We also had a very fussy baby. So that's just very personal to me. And most of these things on here are very personal to me. Some of these things on here are just downright fucking stupid and no one should buy them. But with this one, I'm gonna give it like a little bit of a pass because it just didn't work for me for Harlow. Not to say it won't work for you. Next is the Mamaru. So the Mamaru just, Harlow just didn't like it. Um, she didn't like any, it has all these different features. It can bounce, it can go this way in a figure eight, whatever. She just didn't love it. And she also was getting too big for her pretty quickly and was trying to squirm out of it, which is a little terrifying. So I ended up with another one because there was actually a recall on the Mamaru because a couple kids actually, um, actually, you know, I'm not gonna tell that story here because I don't wanna dampen the mood. If you wanna know why there was a recall, you can look it up, but the straps dangling, bad idea. So check into that if you have one, but yeah, the Mamaru did not work for us. Another one that was highly recommended by everybody, maybe it'll work for us in the future, was the blackout tent. I don't know if that's the actual name of it, but another high priced item that there is not a dupe for uh, that I'm aware of, but this ended up just being odd for me. Like I didn't like not being able to see Harlow. I have not needed to block out all the light. If I get desperate and I'm in a hotel room or something where I need to block out light in the middle of the day, maybe I would resort to using this, but there is hardly any airflow that gets in there. So Harlow runs really warm. So she would get really hot in there the couple times that I did try and use it. And I just felt like she couldn't breathe. And I know that she can, but you probably don't want to use it on a very warm day because it was just, it was, I mean, she was born on May 22nd. So we were like in the middle of summer, basically, or going into summer, I guess and it was just too hot. I didn't like it, and I couldn't really figure out how to like see her inside of it, so I didn't like that either. Wipe warmer. I had posted on my Instagram about this. 
And I decided at the end of all this to just throw it away because it just is too hard to keep the bacteria out of and it would just need new water all the time. And honestly, I prefer to get my kid used to just kind of rolling with the punches and being cool with whatever. So white, wet, wet, cold wipes in the middle of the night it is. She never had an issue with it. She never, I thought it would just be so awful because sitting on a cold toilet seat in the middle of the night when I have to pee early in the morning is like, I, just yesterday I was like, oh my gosh, I need to buy a heated toilet seat. But she doesn't seem to care. So yeah, no on the wipe warmer. Oh, this next thing is so expensive and I need to sell it on Mercari. It is the outlet. Some people swear by this and some people love it. I honestly didn't ever really have the time to sort it out and figure it out. And when I used it, it would continuously go off on my phone and just give me, I would swipe on my phone screen like this, my home screen, and I would just have all of these notifications about it being disconnected from the base. Now, someone told me that's because I was keeping it inside of a drawer over there in my kitchen. We have like a charging drawer. And they said that it was from that. So that might very well be a possibility. I never really tried it outside of the drawer, but and maybe that was the issue, but honestly, it was just too much of a hassle to put it on. I would forget to put it on before she took a nap or before we went to bed and then it was too late. So I just think that that's too much. Like I got the one with the battery and the camera and somebody did purchase it for us and which is so nice because it's such an expensive item, but I just, just, I, the juice was not worth the squeeze for me. Who knows? Maybe I'll use it in the future, but yeah, I just, it's not something that I ever used. So I feel like it was just a complete waste of money. Couple items left. Uh, the I got the Uber U, Uber Ubi diaper bin, and I don't love it. Everyone was like, "Oh, you don't need the di you don't need the diaper genie. Just go ahead because you need special bags for it. Just get the Ubi." No, I wish I had gotten the G diaper genie. I get a whiff of every past diaper that has been inside of the Ubi. Somehow it maintains the smell even if you've just emptied it or emptied it a couple days ago it smells it smells bad so the diaper genie without a doubt before our next child i'm getting the diaper genie where it wraps up every individual diaper and closes the smell in there because the ubi sucks it just sucks you can use regular bags with it but i don't care about that i don't want to smell harlow's shit from two days ago this I was just bitching about on my Instagram stories, and I think the solution is an Ikea $28 item. This is the Trip Trap High Chair by Stoke. And you know what's funny? <laughs> After this, I have another Stoke item on the hate list. So I guess there's a trend here, and I don't like the brand Stoke. Um, so here's the deal. I loved the idea of a high chair that was kind of like sleek and natural looking and that could grow with my child so that I'm not, sorry, that's our ice maker, so that I'm not like buying multiple things. So this thing you can actually use as a little step ladder for your child to help in the kitchen, to brush their teeth, whatever it is that you're doing so they can help you. But um, using it now at seven months old, I find it very difficult to clean the straps. I find it very difficult to get my child out of it especially if there's like a choke, if she's choking, like how the hell am I going to get my kid out of that? Like I can't even hardly get her out of there by myself. Although I did this morning because I haven't bought the Ikea one yet, but I'm just like not a fan. It just is really expensive. And I just want a simple high chair. And what is wrong with a normal step stool from home goods for $16 when Harlow is ready to help in the kitchen? I do not like this thing. And when I posted on Instagram, I got so many messages from you guys saying that you guys didn't like it either and you got rid of it right away. And I feel bad again because somebody purchased this for us and um, it just, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. So the other thing that I'm not a fan of, also they try and charge you tons of money for all the add-ons. And that's why I don't like the next item from Stoke either. So I got the Stoke crib, the little round one that's all cute and like aesthetic and like Pinterest and blah, 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 whatever the fuck. I hate this crib, this, or the thing. It rolls around. First I was like, it's so great. You don't have to rebuy a crib. You can just add these pieces to it and it grows with your baby. Little did I know how expensive all of those add-ons are. It is more, ex by the time that you have made this thing a larger bed for like your five-year-old, you will have spent so much money that you could have started a college fund for your child or something 
Like, it's ridiculous. Like, the amount of money that you have to pay. And the new mattress is also super expensive. So every time you put a little expansion on, you have to buy a brand new mattress, which is so overpriced. So you know what my ass did? I sold it on Facebook Marketplace. And I went and got a freaking $200 crib from Kohl's. I got my Kohl's cash. I got like $45 Kohl's cash back on that. And I got a mattress for 60 bucks on Amazon. Done and done. She can sleep in that bitch till she's like four. So this one transforms to where you can take the front off and she can sleep in it when she's older, whatever. So it's large, but who cares? Like she rolls all over the place. It doesn't matter. It's good. So I'm super glad I got rid of the stoke. I think it's a big waste of money. Um, I think it's it's absolutely ridiculous that people buy that. I, I wish I was one of those suckers. I didn't think about, okay, how much is the new mattress? How much is the expansion expansion pack? Like it's Sims or something. You know what I'm saying? To make it bigger. You got to look at all that. So make sure you look at that. But the stoke um, can suck a big fat dick. That is all of my likes and dislikes. There were some other likes that I had put on here, but they just kind of just don't belong in this video, you know? So um, it is about that time where I have to go pick up Harlow. I thought this video was gonna be a little quicker. Sorry, it's a little long, but I just wanted to give you some more information so you had all of the info that I could possibly give you to help you make a good decision and put things on your, you know, your list that you need. I will also leave an even more in-depth list on my blog, which I will link you guys to. I sent, and I'll put it down below too, but I'll add notes to my blog, my blog as to why and whatnot if I have anything, but I made a list for a friend of mine who's having a baby in April, and I like added to this list over like four days and just kept adding things and adding things and linking her to them. So I will leave that list for you. It's even more in depth, like stuff I didn't really talk about in here, like things that like you need after you have your baby that you don't realize that you need tons of like spit rags and different types of onesies. Like you don't know it until you're in the trenches and then you're just on Amazon like a psycho, like trying to order everything. Like thank God for Amazon. What the fuck would we have done before it? I don't know how I would have raised a child without it, but it's so necessary. So basically what I'm saying is there's gonna be a lot more goodies in the description box for you. Hopefully it's helpful. If you have any questions on anything that I talked about or any video ideas, please leave them in the description box below. And happy 2023 guys. I hope you guys had a great holiday holidays and um, we will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.